Welcome to the EKG Guy. I'm so glad you're joining us today. So today I wanna to go over a question that we posted related to the cardiac complex. Essentially, being able to label these ones, I think we asked for which one was C or D. But regardless, let's go through all of them because you, you should be able to identify them all, okay? So uh, this image here is essentially outlining a normal cardiac cycle. Now, not perfectly drawn, but it gets the points that we need to address here. So essentially, let's go from A to D uh, in each one of these. So A represents the beginning of the normal cardiac cycle. Imagine that this is a lead two that we're looking at. So if this is lead two, you have a positive deflection here. This positive deflection initiating a cardiac cycle is what we call a P wave. So A here is a P wave, okay? And as we just said, if it's coming from the sinal atrial node, it's gonna depolarize the atria first, uh, namely the right atrium. So this represents atrial depolarization. So that's what the uh, cardiac event that the P wave represents. Now, if we look at B, B, what you see here is part of what we call the QRS complex, okay? And the QRS complex is, so here's the QRS, represents ventricular depolarization, okay? So P wave, atrial depolarization. Here, the QRS complex, ventricular depolarization. And that small negative deflection that you see here is actually a Q wave, okay? So that small one and that large deflection here is an R wave. So despite it not having an S wave, we still refer to generally as a QRS complex representing ventricular depolarization. Okay, this is not an S wave here because an S wave would come after an R wave there. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now in terms of C, C is what we consider the ST segment. So the ST segment, and the ST segment is that electrical neutral period, generally at that baseline between ventricular depolarization, the QRS complex, and what we'll learn about D, the T wave, ventricular repolarization. Now in C, you start to get the end of ventricular depolarization and some po components of ventricular repolarization uh, beginning. But in general, let's just call this the ISO uh, or the, the neutral period, okay? But really, you know, that's when ventricular repolarization is already beginning. Now in terms of D, this is actually the T wave that we mentioned. And again, this is ventricular repolarization. So notice that you have a depolarization and activation phase followed by the repolarization. Now notice that we had a P wave, right? And we did not say anything about an atrial repolarization. Well, generally, the atrial repolarization may not even show up on the EKG because it's such a electrically almost silent component. It's not very strong, so that impulse doesn't show up. If it were to show up, imagine that you have something like this as your P wave. Okay, you may have it such that it will go down. It'll be an, a negative deflection. Okay, so you may see uh, uh, that occur. Okay, as the T A wave, we refer to. There's the A, the atrial repolarization, similar to the T wave there. Okay, and then you may then have a Q R S complex followed by a T wave. Okay, this would be an R wave, and then this would be an S wave. Notice there's no Q wave there, and this is your T wave. So this is generally not seen. All right, sometimes it'll show up here in this PR segment component, okay? Sometimes it'll be buried within the QRS complex, but oftentimes it won't, it won't show up uh, in this cases, okay? So notice that if there is a, this is atrial depolarization, right? This is, would be atrial repolarization. We said that this is ventricular depolarization, our QRS complex and this is ventricular repolarization, okay? So notice that atrial depolarization, if it is present, will go in a positive, and the repolarization will go in the opposite direction, okay? And then the ventricular depolarization generally should be concordant, meaning it should be positive and positive. So why is it that this depolarization wave goes in an opposite direction as the atrial repolarization wave, although it's not true with the ventricular uh, component. Well, that's for another lecture, but something for you to think about, okay? Why are these going in the same direction, but those aren't, all right? So leave a comment if you know why that's the case, but certainly that's something that we discuss, you know, in the Foundation Secrets book. If you haven't gotten this, this is that free book that we're giving away. I'll leave the link below because we certainly will continue it while we have supplies last, okay? So we do mention that
that question and all the stuff we're going through. So check that out if you're interested, if you want more review. Okay, so just to recap here, A represents the P wave, okay, the beginning of the normal cardiac cycle, atrial depolarization. Then we said B was the QRS complex, okay, we named, named that one a QR complex. This would be an RS complex and that represents ventricular depolarization. The ST segment, which is labeled C here, we said that's the isoelectric, that neutral period between depolarization and repolarization of the ventricles. The beginning of repolarization tends to start at that point. And then you have the T wave, which represents ventricular repolarization. Now, one last thing I wanna mention about the T wave, the early component of it is what we call the absolute refractory period, okay? And then the later component, okay, so the late component is what we call the relative refractory period. And so what do we mean by that? Well, essentially the early component of that T wave, so if you imagine this component here, okay, that means that you have still more cells that are depolarized in the ventricle and you don't have enough repolarized to accept the new impulse to the ventricular myocardium. However, in that later component here, enough of those cells in the ventricle have repolarized, and now the ventricles are ready to accept a new impulse, okay? So just a few extra points there. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We're here to help, okay? Again, grab this copy while we have them in stock. I know thousands of you are getting them each day. Thank you so much for your support. We really are so glad that we can uh, make that opportunity available for you, okay? Please reach out again if you have any questions. Hope you have a wonderful day.